What's up beautiful people? It is your home and shameless all up in your video. And this video is all about how to eat healthy on a budget. Cause you do not need to be a baller, shot caller, brawler to eat healthy. All you need is some creative inspiration, your homegirl chef shameless and in the building to break it down for you. So this video is perfect for vegetarians, vegans, pescatarians, meat eaters. Uh, feel free to substitute. And really I am gonna be sharing with you six meals, two breakfast options, two lunch, two dinner with snacks in between. I got you, <laughs> I got you. So let's get into this video now, shall we? <sighs> First up is breakfast of champions, and this one is perfect for vegans. It's a quinoa cereal. All you'll need is quinoa, which is a great cereal or rice substitute. Almond milk, uh, some fresh blueberries and bananas, which tastes great and has naturally occurring sugars. Walnuts, some cinnamon and vanilla for added flavor, and if you have a sweet tooth, a splash of honey. Now, I've already pre-cooked the quinoa, and I store that in the fridge, which makes it a quick fix first thing in the morning, and a good source of protein, fiber, and essential amino acids. Almond milk, which is perfect for those of you that are lactose intolerant. So I can throw everything in, the vanilla, the cinnamon, boom, 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 boom. Then I add all my fixings and make it look real cute for my Instagram stories or my chap snap, my chap snap, or my Snapchat and pat out. The second option is super cute. It's a mini egg McMuffins sans bread. All you'll need are eggs between six and 12, depending on how many muffin trays you have. Some red peppers, spinach, onions, some salt and pepper, olive oil for the muffin trays. And I like to start by cutting all my veggies down into small bite-sized portions that will fit easily into the tray and the eggs will go on top of that. What I like about this is it's like, really easy and quick. And this is good for like a meal prep for a few days. You can make a few at a time. Then I will get to cracking and scrambling those eggs, adding in some salt and pepper. Next, I'm gonna spray the tray down. I'm gonna go ahead and add my veggies on the bottom, cause those will cook and rise to the top. Then I'm gonna take my scrambled eggs and top that off, but not all the way to the top because they do expand in the oven. I'm gonna let that cook for 20 minutes. Once cooked, I'm gonna remove and let cool uh, between five and 10 minutes so they hold the form of the muffin tray. And this will last you for a few days and it's super cute and I discovered this when I was in New Orleans. Snacks are key. This one is a chia pudding for all my vegan heads out there and chia seeds are a great source of omega-3 a milk of your choice, some cinnamon and vanilla, and fresh blueberries and honey for all my sweet teeth, sweet teeth, sweet tooths out there. So I like to soak the chia seeds overnight, but sometimes I do forget to do this. So I do it first thing in the morning before I head out to work. By the time I'm hungry, this is already soaked and good to go. So I can throw everything in, the vanilla, the cinnamon, and I like to add the blueberries after. And shablam, that is it. That is what I eat instead of fruit yogurts. You can go ahead and add honey if you'd like. Now for some lunch. I'm gonna go with this vegan friendly pesto salad. All you'll need is some zucchini, walnuts or pine nuts. Walnuts were cheaper. Fresh basil, olive oil, some salt and pepper for the pesto, and tomatoes and cucumbers. A food processor. This Ninja is so good. And a spiralizer, and I got this one from Amazon. I like to cut the zucchini in half. Then I get my arm workout in with the spiralizer. And look, low carb noodles. It's so cute. Okay, so once you have your zucchini noodles done, we're gonna go ahead and make the pesto. So you need some olive oil. Again, I like to eyeball things. I'm starting off with two tablespoons of olive oil. Then I'm adding in my walnuts which was half a cup, some salt and pepper. Then I like to blend this first before I add my basil leaves because the basil leaves are soft, unlike the walnuts, which are hard. So once the nuts are all blended, then I go ahead and add in my basil leaves. And then I like to add in more olive oil if the walnuts are dry. 
So again, eyeballing it. I think in total I used five tablespoons and this pesto was enough for two servings. So once that's done, you're gonna cut your tomatoes and your cucumbers down into bite-sized pieces. You're gonna mix it all together for a fresh veggie pasta salad. And this is raw, which means it's jam-packed with nutrients that weren't lost in the cooking process. And it's super colorful and cute. Perfect for those food flat lays, you know what I'm saying? And I actually don't even like zucchini, let alone zucchini raw, but this, I love this. So beautiful, so beautiful. Another lunch option is this chickpea salad. Some red peppers, chickpeas. You'll need carrots, beets, an avocado, and cucumber. And for all the info on ingredients, make sure to check the info box below. I got you, boo. So I like to shred my carrots with my mandolin. Now you can meal prep this for the week by cutting everything down into bite sizes. I think meal prepping is great for veggie options. And cut everything down. I discovered this late in life, beets. I never had this growing up. But this is like a very like added sweetness. It's kind of like sweet sour. I like it a lot. Mix it all up. And that is a super hearty salad topped with quinoa that I pre-made earlier for my breakfast. Bam! And now for some salad dressing. You can use whatever you like. I like to make mine with some balsamic vinegar, olive oil, salt and pepper, and I didn't add it here, but I do throw in some honey, sometimes mustard. And voila, that's your lunch. An afternoon snack. This is my go-to and I bring it with me to work. Super simple and super filling. And that is rice cakes with peanut butter and banana. And I like to bring a knife. You can use a butter knife. And half a banana. And I like to bring the peanut butter with me. And I just build it and eat it when I'm hungry. And this is filling. I guess we could add other things. What would you guys add on this rice cake? I'd like to know. Let me know in the comments below, Bo. And that's it. Okay, now for some dinner. I picked up this chickpea fennel stir fry from my friend's boyfriend who's a chef. His name is Craig, thank you Craig. And this is super quick, easy and delicious and vegan and super cheap. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut the fennel into bite-sized pieces. My onion that I cut down. So I'm gonna add my olive oil onto my pan cover that ish up and once the pan is hot I'm gonna throw in some onions my fennel bite sized pizzas stir that around the stir fry stir it around add some salt add some pepper but this is like super simple all you need is olive oil salt and pepper for seasoning what is life and then go ahead and add in your chickpeas these are canned chickpeas and cook it until the fennel is soft so I go ahead and cover that up and then plate it once plated, add some quinoa. I like using quinoa because it's like my rice substitute. And again, it's jam-packed with nutrients. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some fennel leaves. And shablam, that's it, she is done. That is dinner. Next up is this coconut peanut shrimp stir fry that you will die for if you love peanut butter. You'll need all of these ingredients, olive oil, peanut butter, onions, broccolini, carrots, red pepper, chopped up into bite-sized pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my pan and again, add my olive oil first. Once the pan is hot and heated, I'm gonna add my onions, followed by the carrots, which are hardest, so those need to cook the longest, so those go in first. Um, I do put in onions first because they add the taste. Broccolini, a marinade of your choice. I'm using this teriyaki. You can use soy sauce. You can actually skip the coconut milk, but I like it because it creates all this sauce. <laughs> Stir it around. Red peppers are soft, so I put them in towards the end. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cover everything. And once those are halfway cooked, 
I'm gonna add the peanut butter. I'm only using a teaspoon and that is very buttery. I put the shrimp in last because it cooks super quick and if you cook shrimp too long, it does get rubbery. A few minutes and that's it. And plate that ish up. This is legit so bomb. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you go ahead and thumbs up this video by liking it. And if you aren't already, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> Welcome to Team Shameless. Hit the subscribe button. I am almost at one million subscribers. <laughs> and you can help me get there. So hit that button, turn the notifications on. I upload videos every Tuesday evening for you. And make sure you watch my previous video, guys. Oh. Also, if you wanna be part of the Shameless movement, go ahead over to my shop, shop.shamelessmaya.com and cop you some swag so you can be inspired to do you shamelessly all day, every day, okay? And until next time, booze, remember to do you, be you, and stay true, be shameless.